Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmed, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the uh, CSS3 gradients, the radial gradient. So this page includes nothing but a, uh, an H1 tag, which is uh, enclosed in center tag. And let me show you the source code. The background color is red, and for gradient, we use now the radial gradient so these tags shape first and then size at definite uh, at, at a definite position at a specific position and the second one is the colors part so color one color two and so on and at last the last color these are the parameters so shape can take two values that is ellipse shape and circle shape in which ellipse is the default value and similarly size tag four types of values that is farthest corner farthest size uh, aside uh, the closest corner and the closest side in which the farthest corner is the uh, default value and position by default is center and we can assign our own position of the body in percentage values in x y values as well so let me now come towards the color and uh, i will assign at first two colors red black and let me refresh and you can see it starts from center so that is the main difference between a radial gradient and linear gradient in linear gradient the color starts from a side and uh, in uh, radial gradient the color starts from its center from center of the um, body the provided element okay the black and now if i write here white color so it's not working there is a comma so let me now refresh and you can see start from white color from the center and moves towards the uh, black color in between having the red color as well so these are evenly assigned evenly spaced color stops uh, color stops so if i want to make it uh, differently spaced color stops so I will assign the positions of the colors and uh, red is 10% and the black color let me leave it as it is okay let me refresh so you can see the position of the white color is 5% uh, it is up to 5% and the red uh, is from 10% but it moves towards the black and which is evenly spaced with this color so that is why red is more than the white color so if I assign the white color a position as well so you can see the, the black color is now at 20% and it has no uh, ending point so it moves towards the um, sides and corners of the body so in this way if i eliminate that five percent so it is now evenly spaced and uh, the black color is now evenly spaced not evenly spaced but it is differently spaced and i made it now evenly spaced with red color so that is evenly spaced and that is the story of evenly spaced and uh, differently spaced uh, color stops and now i will assign let me refresh okay evenly spaced i will assign now the shape so let me make it a circle so now this is circle let me assign these some values that is 10 percent so you can see 10 percent and if i make it as 20 percent 
no no you can uh, notice the change from uh, ellipse to circle shape and now i will assign position size sorry so farthest uh, corner is by default and i will use the farthest side and you can see the changes if i use the closest side you can see and if i use the closest corner you can notice so these are four types of uh, sizes which we can be assigned to the size uh, part and at now let me show you the 10% and 10% again so it will come here and you can see this is the 10% uh, position 10 10% position that is if i use this one as 30 so you can set it like at y axis and if i use it as 30 again so you can notice similarly if i change these values uh, accordingly you will notice the changes uh, in size of the uh, in size of that circle so i will uh, i would like to leave this uh, on you for practice purpose and um, i will check in your comments about your practice so one thing i remain with is repeating these radial gradients so you can see uh, the circle is now repeating the whole gradient is now repeating but it's starting from this position i can change the position accordingly if i use it as 50 so it will move up to here and you can notice similarly if i use sorry this value i would like to change that is the side and you can notice and similarly if i use the farthest side value and you can notice the change so that was about the grid, uh, radial gradient and hope you guys have learned something with me that uh, in with this tutorial uh, and will bring you i will bring uh, you with uh, more uh, tutorials of css3 some more properties some more interesting videos and uh, please read comment and subscribe my channel and stay tuned thank you for now